6,940 pounds, a super slide Dutchman with private bunkhouse just came in here at Haylet RV. And this is a TLC special, but I don't mean that in like, it needs some TLC. I mean, it enjoyed a ton of TLC before it got traded in. Someone spent a ton of effort, basically given the entire interior this like kind of cozy little country cabin makeover. It is cool inside. Like almost none of it's an original surface. And the outside looks to be in pretty decent shape too. The only reason this is here is because they just needed more space. They're swapping this out for a very similar layout that we had here in our used RV uh, lineup. They just had two slides, a second slide in the bunkhouse. Other than that, they must have been pleased as punch with this thing because boy did they take care of it. And when I said every surface in here has been touched up, I meant just about everything. The uh, the flooring was swapped out. It's a uh, like one of those click plank laminate kind of floors right there. Um, the wall paneling, even within the slide, was fully exchanged. All of the window treatments were exchanged. Somebody really did a number on this one, and I mean that in the most positive of ways. They really spent a lot of time and effort on this. The microwave has been exchanged, but it has a microwave, so good to go there. And those wooden blinds, as opposed to uh, the common metallic blinds all the way through this living area and the front bedroom, those things are great because, obviously, if you want to block out the sun, you can. You can get all of the privacy in the world with things like that, or obviously you can open them. The other nice thing is um, you can clean them, and that's something that pleated cloth shades are often not good for us. They tend to clump up little dust bunnies. They're a little trickier to clean. They can It can be done, it's just not as fun. Uh, good cabinet and counter space here in a bathroom, you know, basic bathroom. This is a basic series camper, but somebody did a, <laughs> a good job churching it up, basically. There's a, uh, if I get this bedroom or bathroom door out of the way, you can see there is an accordion door there for the bathroom area. And everything that you're seeing done in the living room, you'll also find done here in the bunkhouse. But what I like is that big central closet and dresser drawers. Now there's a full rear pass-through here. We'll see it as we go outside, but this thing has a tremendous amount of interior charm matched only by its exterior storage capacity. A classic kind of feature that is making its way back into the RV industry, thankfully, is that front split bedroom door, that dual sliding privacy door into the master bed area. I've always felt it gives the living room a larger look and feel, but speaking of larger, this originally would have had a camp queen. Previous owners swapped it out for a full residential queen and they did build the bed base forward, so it's not like a, uh, a bendy bottom uh, there, you know? Um, the uh, Actually, looking at this, this might have been an east-west bed at one point. I'm kind of looking at the way that this is laid out because there's a hanging closet there. There's no hanging closet on the opposite side, but there is one here. So either they did some rearranging of things. Yeah, this was. This was an east-west bed at one point that somebody converted to a north-south bed because that used to be a bedside plug, and that's where the bed used to stop right there. Aha! Doing some CSI for camping. But what's cool... This has room for a full residential 80-inch bed. Now you're you're crawling in there, but you would have been crawling over each other on an east-west bed anyway. I think more people are going to be happy with it like this. Something to take note of as we walk around here. There's outside compartment doors like under the bunks, under the bed, under the seating in the slide, all over the place. Front window with that weather shield there, and you can see how they put a uh, propane cover on the front. That is not the propane cover that would have come with this, but that sort of light beige color of that it ties right into the the color stripe that goes right down the sidewall this thing they did a good job on this and i see all sorts of signs and this is good stuff where it has been proactively maintained like they've done touch up beads and seals and things exactly as you're supposed to if you didn't see those things this would have been a leaker for sure but as it stands it doesn't look like that's the case the tires look good they added some roof vent covers over the uh, like bathroom and kitchen vents to get you some anytime airflow. And under those rear bunks, you see how you have baggage doors on both sides of the RV and the rear. So even if your cargo shifts, it's still easy to get to. 
And that awning, the material looks fantastic. That material has definitely been replaced at some point. There's not even like sun fade on that, so that's not the original awning fabric. Somebody, like I said, they spent a lot of time, effort, money, sweat equity into this thing. They made it their own, they really personalized it, and just found out they needed a little bit more of it. And I tell you, this is an awesome little steal for some kind of first timer to swoop in and snag this thing up you would be very happy this would be a very good way to start your family's camping adventures before you go into some giant new fifth wheel or something like that if you want to try camping for a year or two heck as cute as this thing is inside it's kind of i mean it's like a there's more than meets the eye here you know on the outside you're like yeah yeah it's an old 2001 dutch but on the inside you're like look at this cute little thing I don't know, just this one really captivated me. It won me right over. Pretty good considering very often I walk up to an old used Dutchman and go, oh crap, what am I getting into today? I got into something special, I think. So give us a call. Let's see if we can't, uh, you know, get you hitched up. <laughs> let's you and me, let's get hitched. <laughs> so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.